Right. This is my 6-hour P320 compact. It has been cleared, but for the sake of you guys out there that uh, that aren't here and are super ultra sensitive about such things for no reason at all, there's nothing in the chamber. Okay. So again, this is my P320 compact. Um, I've done a tabletop on this, this gun already. Um, it's got some rounds fired through it already. Um, I have not done much else other than uh, take it to the range, I believe, once or twice. So it's got less than 200 rounds through it, probably around 100. Um, very solid firing gun. Um, it has a uh, very nice trigger. It's well documented on the internet and on YouTube. Um, got good qualities. So, uh, why am I reviewing the gun? Because I went and got this. This is a uh, grip module assembly for uh, six hour P320 subcompact. Uh, this this is a modular gun, so I can I can make it smaller or bigger or whatnot. Um, so I'll be converting the compact into a subcompact using the compact's uh, slide. I've already done this off camera. So uh, a couple of things I want to cover real quick before the uh, before I convert it. Um, when I converted it earlier, this uh, recoil spring uh, spring guide rod um, was protruding from uh, this frame. Um, it's also protruding from this grip uh, mode assembly as well. Um, so there's no difference in that um, as well the takedown pin here on this side the uh, the pin isn't flush with the uh, with the grip module assembly um, it's the same with this grip module assembly only a little bit worse actually um, but it's it's staying in place it's not coming out um, what else there was something else I wanted to mention here that I saw and I can't think on it now, so I might kind of let it be. So, yeah. So, let's let's get to it. So, you lock the slide back. Set the takedown pin down. Release the slide. Pull the slide off. Now you take the takedown pin out. And this should lift right out. There you go. So the internals of the gun will now go into the subcompact uh, grip module assembly. Snaps right in place. I want to make sure it's back far enough. Yep, there it is. Everything's in place. The hardest part about this is actually getting uh, this takedown pin back in. There you go in everything's in place huh. actually uh the back side of the takedown pin is it's a lot better than it was I must not have had the internal seated correctly okay function checks complete so, let's take a look at this real quick. And holding the two, it's very apparent that the gun is slimmer in here, in this area. It's also thinner in the grip. Um, what else? 
mentioned just earlier that the takedown pin feels like it's inside it's it's pushed in a little bit more it's almost flush now the uh, recoil spring rod uh, guide rod is just as I said with the compact it's protruding out a little bit um, the slide isn't overly long um, you can see a little bit under the dust cover here well there's a crack between the dust cover and the bottom of the slide but you won't know it unless you flip the gun over um, that's not that's not anything negative um, in fact looking at it like this you you I don't even think you, you see anything here fits my hand right kind of well um, so along with this uh, subcompact grip module assembly I bought two subcompact mags they're 12 round mags and here's the difference between the two let me put this gun aside for a second here this is 15 round mag I believe this is a 12 round mag the gun can use both so the subcompact can use compact uh, magazines as well as subcompact magazine so let's let, let's put in the subcompact magazine so when I grip the gun my pinky uh, has a little bit of a purchase on the grip um, it, it's not bad and I suppose I could kind of squeeze jam my fingers together um, it doesn't feel bad it doesn't feel it feels cramped but not overly so um, it feels good it feels natural the difference between this grip module assembly and this grip module assembly is that this one's thicker um, it has more girth right here um, and the compact assembly has the uh, the Picatinny rail. This is railless, but uh, this is also a small assembly. They they make different sizes. Uh, the medium assembly actually has a little bit more girth here, um, and it does have a rail. And I'm assuming there's a large as well. Um, it I it took me a while to actually find someone who had these in stock. Um, I could not find what I wanted was a medium with a rail but uh, those are definitely out of stock I mean out of all of them the small is more available than, than the rest of them um, so I could have opted to get the OD green or I believe there's FDE um, but again um, these being as rare as it is I just bought the first one that I saw that was in stock um, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and paint these any color I wanted. Uh, they are plastic. Uh, these are polygons. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. Let's take out the mag here and put in a compact mag. And you can see it protrudes a bit. Um, it'll still fire. It's not pulling out. It'll eject fine. It just drops right out. It's not spring loaded, so if I hold it upside down, it's not going to do anything. Uh, but it's got these little grooves here where you can grab and kind of pull out if it gets stuck. I think that's pretty cool. Um, also, uh, vendors do sell the sleeves. Uh, these come with sleeves so that you can use the compact uh, magazines um, with the subcompact without, for instance, like. Uh, yeah, I know this bothers some people. It doesn't bother me at all. So I can take, right now I have four magazines I can use. Um, it came with two, uh, two compact mags, and then I bought two subcompact mags. So I can use all four, four of these at the range for the subcompact. And when I convert it back to the compact, I cannot use the subcompact. They're too short. Um... So here's the other uh, subcompact magazine. 
it's unopened and uh, I'm slowly getting used to the uh, the trigger guard on this and I know the reason why it's supposed to be snagless um, it, it no points no corners no edges um, I mean it's not a huge deal and that's probably why this is you know this uh, doesn't have a rail either um, in fact uh, originally the, uh, the assemblies were railless and I believe uh, the, you know they added uh, rails after the fact I don't know if people started complaining or what but uh, it feels good um, the compact slide fits pretty well um, on, on the subcompact assembly um, it shouldn't change the way this gun shoots uh, it's, it has good uh, texture on the on the grips I'm thinking that this will shoot just as well as it did when it was a compact um, uh, we'll see um, and another thing here let me uh, get my my carry gun my everyday carry and let me clear it This is my XD9 Mod 2. So what I want to do is I'm going to hold the, uh, the camera up for a second here. I'm using uh, my Mobius Action Cam. So it doesn't have a view screen, so I'm, I'm hoping that it's framed well enough. It won't be quite center. So if I put these two back to, uh, side to side, you can see right off the bat that this has more girth than the 6R but the height are the same the the trigger guards are, are now they're the same um, the bottom of the uh, the assemblies on both guns let's see the subcompacts uh, is a little bit longer in the dust cover area um, so one has, let me see, if I slide uh, the XD up, because uh, if I match him up via the beaver tails, that's more equal. And if I do that, the fronts of the assemblies are actually matching, or almost matching. So, but if I, if I make the back of the slides if I match those up the, the, the assemblies are pretty equal so and, um, let's see you can see the uh, how thin the 3220 the 3320 the P320 <laughs> if, I, if I look this way from this perspective the P320 actually has a uh, less girth you see it's a lot thinner they're both double stack guns but it, it's 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 funny how uh, how much let me put them flat on the mat here it's funny how uh, just trying to wrap my head around the fact that these guns are in similar size I'm, I'm anxious to see how well the SIG shoots at the range um, uh, there is a practical reason why I actually got the subcompact assembly and converted this into a subcompact it is because, let me put this camera back over here. It is because I plan to get the sights on this change. Right now they're contrast in the rear. And uh, with a front fiber optic. Um, I Since I carry this all the time, um, I, I want to change, I want to I want to get night sights. Um, I'm sure they're not needed and this does have a rail so technically I could 
you know, get away with using a, uh, a rail light in the evenings or at night. You know, is it when it's when it's on my bed stand, uh, or uh, I could just do with the the palm flashlight and kind of, you know, do like you see on uh, TV and in training. Um, so while the sights are being changed on this gun, I still need something to carry. Um, so the plan is to carry this. Now these also have contrast sights. Um, but I'll carry this one while this one is being, you know, while this one's at the armory. Um, before I do that though, um, I will have, I'll have to find a, a holster to carry this gun. I have a holster for this frame assembly. But I do not have a holster for the subcompact assembly. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this isn't going to fit well in the compact assembly. There's a big difference here. Plus this is longer. So th th that being said, this might not go all the way into the holster. Um, and I'm I'm not even sure if the if the the opening is gonna accommodate this frame since the the uh, I guess the front of these are different. So the plan is right now I'm using a uh, Alien Gear Cloak Tuck Three holster in waistband, um, and I have the shell for the P320 Compact. Um, so what I can do is I can send in one of the you know I have a I have a few shells that I had planned on using but I changed my mind. I have one for my Sig Pro uh, 2022. Uh, that's a rather large gun to be carrying. So uh, the plan is to not carry that gun anymore. Um, not that I actually carried it, but the plan you know my plan was to carry it. So I got a shell for it. Um, with the uh, cloak tuck three and I, I believe two systems um, they'll let you trade in uh, shells for free so uh, what I can do is I can take that at uh, Sig Pro uh, shell send it back to them ask them to send me a P320 uh, subcompact shell instead and then I'll be able to carry this gun that means I'll start. I'll have to start training with this gun. Um, and the biggest difference between these two guns is <clears throat> this has a trigger safety and a grip safety. This has none of those. It's got internal safeties, but uh, there's really nothing. You know, there's there's nothing you know on the trigger or the grip. So, uh, excuse me there. So I'm going to have to wrap my head around that and train around it. But yeah, I'm, I'm anxious to try this. Um, I can take it to the range as soon as tomorrow. Um, but uh, when I do that, I'll let you know and maybe I'll bring in uh, bring the camera, the camera to record it. All right.